hi and this uh, low tree number generator that i just uh, finished creating using c plus plus and those are the numbers right there 22 24 27 48 4 and 33 and uh, just right here let me close that that's the codes that we used up here I've actually included the, the IO string and here I've used a timer the whole purpose of this timer is anytime I run the pro I run the program again the numbers should change you see what happened the numbers generated right now have changed to 16 39 7 36 38 and 5 that is the reason why I use uh, this timer right there and uh, I've actually put it as those are my variables for the timer okay and here make it random this is just the output for my lottery so let me add one more space there I suppose you guys know that that's just a line down that's, that would be one two three lines down or maybe uh, I can't even maybe I should even copy this and just stick it right here yeah why not so add a couple of lines there as well let's run it and see what will happen you see what happened one two three four five six but here I have uh, duplicates so let's close that but I prefer it horizontally okay that's how I prefer it I can put the line to here. So let's see if I put it here. Let's see what will happen. Why not? I'll come in here. Do that. Run the program again. Let's see, we have exactly the same thing, but this time around, that is how it looks. There's a space here. So let's take that off. I prefer it horizontally instead of vertically okay that is lottery number generator okay now here as a for loop that was used and this is said uh, my variable which is an integer so i've assigned one to it from one to seven which means it should generate number one uh, seven number uh, sorry six numbers for every first number generated it should increase it by uh, by one that's why i have a plus plus lot i lottery and right here i have my random generator the number to be generated from will be between 1 and 49 that is it right there which the space you have in here is just horizontal spacing you've seen the vertical spacing will happen and right here means the system should add a line and here I have a pause without the pause the system will just flash in your eye and you won't see that so let me just run it one more time you see what happened now okay now we have the numbers 35 19 6 10 40 3 and 7 that looks like a winning number okay let's come back down here let's see what will happen if I do this let's see what will happen why not there's no harm in trying okay agree this is this uh, carriage return well, let's see now you can see the spacing look at the spacing now okay the spacing between the numbers and the words of the today's lottery number are as follows six there's a duplicate here which means play it again but you can always write a program make sure there's no duplicate you can always increment increment by one that would be another tutorial okay so that'll be the end of this lottery generator but before that let me just change the color instead of black all the time you can always change the color up here let's stick that here let's change the color of uh, change it to uh, then uh, maybe F let's go for F I know that is 
if uh, white okay I don't know what six is but compile and run all right it looks it is good but uh, the text look a bit dodgy so let me let's change that to zero that'll be black okay that's much better now so I suppose you guys enjoy the program I'm just gonna call it uh, bye for now